Hello everybody and welcome back. This is your one and only chicken salad here with Alpha Beta Demos, a series where I play early builds of the game to find that hidden gem. Now today's demo is called Scarlet Nexus. To all you newcomers to this series, I pretty much jump into these games without knowing anything about it, show you a couple of the highlights, and give my opinion on whether to buy and play this game. Now without any further ado, let's begin. Yeah, this part, this part, where it has that little flickery, a little glitch, that looks really nice. And the font that they use is very clean, and it has a bit of the out outline, or that, kind of like the outline, really nice. I guess this is one way to save time, you don't have to animate all the cutscenes, you can just uh, animate the mouth and the facial things, and just put them in poses. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, man. Let's go. <laughs> Give it a bit of a whacking, shall we? <laughs> Give me some power! <laughs> Drop it on him! Wow, oh, they really skipped on the um, animation, eh? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's so so weird that like, after the first one, it just ends up being like that every time. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, that was cool. We need more of that. There we go. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, wow, they actually changed shape as well. That's pretty good. Oh, yep. Yeah. This thing again. I remember this thing. Now. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, man, she showed who's boss. So that was Scarlet Nexus, the demo. Quite the interesting game. So this is the part of the video where I like to rate it from a yeah, meh, or na. Yeah being definitely to buy and play, na being definitely not to buy or play, and meh being somewhere in the middle. Now without any real surprise, I'm going to give this game a 
a yeah, actually. I'm gonna give this game a yeah to play, but a meh to buy, actually. So, ooh, we're mixing up the rating system here. So let's talk about the three main things that I really consider in terms of games, which is the narrative, plot, or story, the audiovisual aesthetics, and the gameplay. So in terms of the narrative, plot, or story, I'm still not sure what it is. It seems like they're in a virtual or cyber world, although they hint a lot that they're in the real world with all these um, new fancy gadgets that they are incorporating within their universe. It seems like the OSF are treated as if they're celebrities, and if you're not selected, you're, there's some kind of discrimination back at home, which is quite interesting and might be something that might be furthered in terms of plot or story. And it also seems like you're kind of the special elite soldiers that go around clearing out areas and or fending off hostile forces from entering, I guess, back home. The other aspect is the anti-aging medication. I think that's quite interesting that they got to keep these soldiers uh, as kids to maintain their powers. So I'm hoping that in the main game they kind of explore that a bit further and trying to understand where these powers come from and how the anti-aging medication is developed. Maybe there's a bit of that unfortunate dark side of things. And maybe that there's going to be, you know, the classic big twist like in most anime. In terms of its audio-visual aesthetics, I think the starting menu with the font looks amazing. That font is so clean and the visual glitch is great to, towards the story and the narrative. So I think that works really well. In terms of the music and audio designs, it's as expected, it's good. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to be bad. Uh, unfortunately, the visually bland levels or oversaturated holographics in the city levels, it's a bit much and it seems like they either put too much or too little. And that is quite disappointing because of the character designs and all the character models look pretty good. They're fantastic. When you equip other weapons or equipment, it actually changes the visuals in the cinematics and that is a big plus for me. Could you imagine walking around in a serious cutscene in a bunny suit. <laughs> in terms of the cutscenes though, it seems like they kind of chose a design choice of like a manga panel, but I think that's somewhat deceptive and I think that's actually done to save some time. But if it is actually a design choice, it's not a bad design choice, but if it's also to save time, it's not a bad idea either. However, I think games like this, I kind of expect full cinematics. Now let's talk about the gameplay. I think showing items in the maps is a great feature. Someone who likes to collect every item in the game, this will help me out huge, so it's a big plus for me. I think the locking mechanism is a soft lock. It doesn't quite lock on like they do in Final Fantasy VII Remake or The Legend of Zelda, where you're kind of just walking around the circumference while constantly aiming at the enemy that you locked on. Instead, it seems like you actually have to face the enemy to actually attack the enemy. Or when you're using your kinesis abilities, that's what's actually locking on, not your actual basic attacks. In terms of the battle system, it's basic combo system with a bit of the use of the kinesis or special abilities, and then also finding weaknesses. For example, if there's an oil monster, then you probably should use fire, and if there's a water monster, you probably should use uh, electricity. In terms of the button mapping, it's actually quite easy to learn. I kind of picked it up very, very quickly, and I'm surprised because it does require some multiple button presses to get some things working. So another disappointing point though however is the invisible walls. I think that's just a bit lazy especially in this day and age. I think putting something more creative to block the player from entering certain areas is much more ideal than getting them to not be able to jump over a thing that they should be able to jump over. Overall I think this game is pretty decent. I really do want to kind of explore more about the narrative and plot and they kind of intrigued me in that aspect so I'm really wanting to know a bit more so definitely want to play it. However, unfortunately, I don't think this is a game that I'll probably want to buy. However, tell me down in the comments what you think. And as always, take it easy. Until our next adventure, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.